Hey, I'm Miner. I'm one of the engineers here at RPS, and today we're going to talk about float switches. Here are the parts you'll need to install your float switch. We have our float switch here. We have our sensor plug, our crimp connectors and heat shrink adhesive, our extension plug, wire strippers, and wire crimps. So before we wire our Pro float switch to our plug, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a continuity test. I went ahead and wired our positive and negative probes from our multimeter onto our brown and black wires on our Pro float. Now what the continuity test will allow us to do is show us whether the circuit is open or closed based, based on the position of the float sensor. So right now it's showing open and it's not making any sort of beeping noise. As your float goes up to the top of the tank, our multimeter beeps showing continuity. This will tell the pro controller to shut off the pump and that the tank is full. And once the float goes back down to an empty tank status, you see the circuit is now open so to show the difference in how the controller operates, I'm going to go ahead and plug in our sensor plug. And so what normally open circuit means is whenever the wires are apart or your circuit is open, the controller would tell the pump to run. But when we close the wires, our continuity shows that it's a closed circuit, such as with a wire nut, this will tell the controller to turn the pump off and that the tank is full. So the first step into wiring your Pro Float Switch is actually taking the 18 gauge wire uh, and stripping it off the end of your COM port plug, like so. Depending on how far your sensor float switch is from the actual controller, you will need to get 18 gauge extension wire to lengthen the cord. But for today's purposes of the video, we're just going to go ahead and wire the port plug directly into the Pro Float Switch. So our Pro Float here has three plugs, but we're only going to utilize two of them. Now the system is open circuit, so we're going to only use the black and brown wires on the system and completely omit the blue. Generally these float switches actually send power to and from the pump and cut it off when the float is activated. But in our case, we are only using it as a sensor signal and it's going to tell the controller to shut the pump off. No electricity flowing through. Now we're ready to splice our Pro Float wires to our sensor plug wires. Now, the color of the sensor plug plugs or your extension wire actually will not matter as polarity is not an issue when hooking up your two wires here. Also, before you finish your crimp on your sensor plug, you will want to go ahead and slide your weight onto your float wire. Once you have it through, you can adjust the weight position for as little or as much as you need in your actual tank. Now we're ready to go ahead and do our crimps for our wires. Now we're ready to use a heat gun on our heat shrink adhesive. Now that we're all done, we can go ahead and put in our sensor port plug into our Pro Controller. Remember to align your two white dots for the notches. Slide it in. And that's how you wire a float switch into our Pro Controller. For more videos on Pro Series or our other products, hit that subscribe button.